With back to school season comes the need to buy school supplies and new clothes. As CBS News Detroit's Terrell Bailey reports, the cost of back to school shopping this year is near an all time high. We're in prime back to school shopping season as inflation woes continue. Families do everything they can to stock up on much needed supplies to kickstart the school year. I don't necessarily go to dollar stores or thrift stores because I know if I pay attention to Facebook and look at those pages that offer the community free things to help children go back to school, I'm on it. Ecora Fauche is just one of many parents in the area searching for back to school deals. According to the National Retail Federation, back to school shopping will top $39 billion this year, while five years ago the number was $26 billion. Families with children in elementary through high school are expecting to spend around $875 on average on clothing, shoes, school supplies, and electronics. This marks the second highest figure on record, according to the NRF. I'm told as families opt for ways to save money, resell clothing stores, see more shoppers looking for deals at a fraction of the cost. For example, our kids' clothing, we start at 50 cents. Um, we go, I'd say the most expensive thing in here is probably $10, maybe 12. Um, we're roughly a third of what things cost retail. New inflation data shows consumer prices rose 2.9% in July over the last year, dropping below 3% for the first time since 2020. Thousands of Metro Detroit families fill stores aiming to fulfill the school supply list. When it comes to school essentials like pencils, pens, and paper, the NRF says parents will spend around $141 on supplies alone. The most popular destinations for both back to school and back to college shoppers are online followed by department stores and discount retailers. As the race to the White House rolls on, the American economy is a major topic. I'm told for families on fixed incomes, as some retailers raise prices, it adds even more stress to the shopping season. It kills the poor person who's barely making it. And even when you go to dollar stores and things like that, it's $1.25 when it really used to be 99 cents. Now, in a recent Credit Karma survey, it found parents who identify as Gen Z or millennials were more likely to take on debt to afford school supplies. Terrell Bailey, CBS News, Detroit.